What's up guys, it is Brian here. Today going to be talking about the San Francisco 49ers and their upcoming season, the 2016 NFL season. I know that was pretty boring or lackluster, but who cares? We're going to be talking about them, talking about the offense, defense a little bit, and talking about each team they're facing and if they're going to win or not. So it's pretty much just a little preview, that's all. It's going to be a little long, so hopefully you guys bear with me, but let's get to it. So preseason, they went 2-2, two and two, so that was okay. Nothing out of the blue, I guess, and the only takeaway I had was the defense was not too bad i'm actually excited for the defense and the quarterback position i am not the most excited guy for the quarterback position i think we're gonna die in the quarterback position in my opinion yeah i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of blank gabber but a hey, he did okay last year so i'll give him a pass hopefully he could do something this year but we'll see as it goes on so and second quarterback i wish it was christian ponder but i guess colin kaepernick's number two but i would love to go with christian ponder not because colin kaepernick you know with the whole national anthem thing it's christian ponder the last game he just started for the team for the san diego Chargers just came in to play for one game and he did better than Colin Kaepernick so I love to start him for number two in case Blaine Gabbert either sucks dick or if he gets injured hopefully let's not get injured but if he does get injured then we can start Christian Ponder and see what he can do so you never know so it's funny little trivia if you don't know if I didn't say this already three quarterbacks from the 2011 draft Jaguars Vikings 49ers so there you go there's your little trivia for the day but anyways a little bit about the actual team I'm gonna go for the other team I'm gonna say if they're gonna win or not and i'll let you know if they win or not for e against every team so let's get to it so monday night football against los angeles rams i'm gonna give it a win the reason why i'm giving it a win is because one it's on monday night football they love to show up monday night football and two they might surprise the rams i think the rams might underestimate the 49ers maybe because on paper they suck dick right now and by the way bruce miller got released by the 49ers the fullback because of domestic assault or something like that against a 70 year old man so uh that was stupid but he's gone so just for you that don't know all you 49er fans that don't know or casual fans there you go but i think they'll, they'll win on monday night football and i think they'll surprise some people because they did this last year against the minnesota viking Colin Kaepernick had like the game of his career or not career but his season last year and carlos Hyde was a beast and after that they just sucked so that's what i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the win for the 49ers against the los angeles rams at home on monday night football week two against the carolina panthers oh that's a downer for me the panthers are just amazing you got cam newton you got jonathan stewart you got greg olson on the offensive side I can name more. Kelvin Benjamin's coming back as well. Defensively, you got Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, Kawan Short. I can go on forever and ever, but I'm going to give this one a loss for the 49ers. Ho, 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 ho. That sucks. I'm not going to the game, by the way, because I live in North Carolina, but I'm not going to the game. I'll be watching on television. But if I went to the game, I'd probably be embarrassed because he's like, why are you a 49er fan? They suck. I know they suck, but at the same time, I love them. But that's a loss for me. Seattle Seahawks. That's a downer for me. And it's at Seattle, too. San Francisco, had, for the past couple of years, ever since Pete Carroll came in there, they've had problems in Seattle and we got Russell Wilson a beast from last year second half of the season almost did wonders against the Carolina Panthers in the playoffs but almost but doesn't count I guess and you got Legion of Boom as always you got the front seven for the Seattle Seahawks and it's at Seattle come on man that's a loss unfortunately Dallas Cowboys I think we can win this game their defense sucks balls right now they are just awful defensively and they got a lot of losses they lost Greg Hardy oh uh, they got I guess Demarcus Lawrence, is that his name? For PED or some violation. And Randy Gregory can't stay off the wheel! And offensively, Dak Prescott starting, but we don't know by then if he's going to be good or not. But I'm just going to say he acts like a rookie, makes a lot of mistakes against the 49ers. And there's still Des Bryant, I, for I forgot. But at the same time, that doesn't mean two players are going to just win the game for you. That can happen, but that's not going to happen. And defensively, there is such an Achilles heel for the Dallas Cowboys. I think they'll lose to the 49ers. So that's a win, surprisingly. Arizona Cardinals at home. That's a doubt doozer. I mean, you got Bruce Arians. You got Carson Palmer whenever he wants to show up and be an MVP style quarterback. You got Larry Fitzgerald still getting older, but getting better, at, in my opinion. I think he's getting better every year. And defensively, you got the Honey Badger, Patrick Peterson. There's nothing to debate about, really. I'm just naming players like... I know they're going to be big impact players for the game, and that's going to be a doozer for me. Buffalo Bills, I think we can win this game. I think Rex Ryan, uh, I think it's the end of Buffalo for Rex Ryan. I think he's not going to do a good job. I think he's going to lose his job by the end of this season, but I don't know. I'm going to go with the win, just because I know Tyrod Taylor is a beast, and got LaShawn McCoy 
beast mode as well but i think we can eke out a win against the buffalo bills i think rex ryan is gonna mess some crap up and they're gonna lose this game so tampa bay buccaneers i think that'll be a loss i have to put a loss somewhere eventually then they're not gonna win too many games this year in my opinion but you got james winston you got dick carter the new coach for the tampa bay buccaneers the offensive guy for james winston last year and i think they're gonna improve and grow and you got doug martin you got vincent jackson and that defense is pretty underrated you got levante david gerald mccoy i think you got a lot of people know these players but for those that don't really know other players around the league i'm just naming you some players but i think they will beat the 49ers this is an up-and-coming team as always and we'll see you then but i'm gonna give this one a doozer week eight we can't lose i mean it's a bye week so get some rest uh, hopefully nobody's seriously injured put on ir but we'll see and i was very disappointed when eric rogers got hurt i was really excited to see what he can do in the nfl he, he was a beast in the cfl but i want to see if he could do work in the nfl but unfortunately we can't because i think he tore his acl or something like that and he's out for the season so we got the saints i think we can win this game because just like the dallas cowboys the saints are awful defensively they are just wacky whack awful you got drew Brees offensively but that's pretty much it just just Drew Brees and everyone else. That's how it is. But I'm going to give this one a win just because I think the 49ers collectively as a team on paper, they're better than the Saints, in my opinion. So win for me. At Arizona Cardinals. Uh, why is it going to be at Arizona Cardinals? Why can't it be somewhere else? It's a doozer. I already explained it. New England Patriots, doozer. Got the Patriots and Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Hopefully he's healthy. You got Bill Belichick. Like, I can't say anything else, man. They're just good. So downer. Miami Dolphins. I think we can win this game. I really think so. I know Adam Gase is a really good coach in my opinion i don't know how many games he's gonna win by week 12 but i think he's gonna do something special in miami in a couple years well maybe not because there's tom brady and bill belichick but i'm talking about in terms of their team collectively i think they can do a good job in a couple years but i think this season they'll be downer but hey if adam Gase can turn jay cutler into a pro bowl caliber quarterback a couple of years ago then i don't see how we can do ryan Tannehill. so for this game i think they're gonna lose the game so i'm gonna give an up for the 49ers chicago bears as i was speaking about jay cutler i don't like jay cutler i think you guys know about that he just doesn't care really if he wins or loses like i think if he wins the super bowl he'd be like mm, whatever i don't think it's gonna be like that but based on his attitude towards football i guess for the past couple of years of his whole, whole career i think he just doesn't care as much and i don't think the chicago bills are that good anyways i like john fox i'm a huge fan of john fox but i just think as players i don't think they're really that good so i think we can win that game and plus we beat him last year in the most dramatic fashion ever when blaine gabbert i think that was his first start in the nfl for the 49ers not in the nfl but for the 49ers and he threw a bond to Torrey Smith at the end of the game. I went crazy. I'm not going to lie. We had nothing to celebrate before and after. So that was like the only good thing about our season was when that happened. So that was a miracle. But I'm going to give it a win for the 49ers. New York Jets, I'm going to give it a loss because New York Jets defense is amazing. It's top 10 defense. And offensively, they can hang. I think with Brian Fitzpatrick, Brandon Marshall, and Eric Decker, they can hang pretty good. So I'm going to give this one a loss. And Todd Bowles is a great coach. So I love being some Todd Bowles. I wish he was our coach. But he's with the Jets, unfortunately. So that's a loss. Atlanta Falcons, I think we can win that game. Last year, for whatever reason, Dan Quinn became a dumbass. I'm sorry, Dan Quinn. I love you. You're doing a pretty good job in Atlanta. You're turning the team around. But that one game against the 49ers in the end of the game, you were a dumbass. I'm not going to lie. Because, I mean, how would you go for a field goal instead of, I think, going for fourth down or going for a two-point conversion, something like that? I think it was a two-point conversion to, I think, tie the game or something like that. But then they ended up going for the field goal or extra point or something like that. And that was a pretty stupid decision. And we actually won that game. And I was happy then because I think we lost like 30 games in a row and then we beat the Falcons so that was exciting but I think we can we have a chance to beat the Falcons because Matt Ryan's very inconsistent he's a great quarterback but he's very inconsistent and the defense I don't think it's a great defense I think it's an okay defense but I think our offense can hang against that defense at Rams I think we're gonna lose this one we're gonna trade off wins and loses there Seattle Seahawks at home depends if they're starting everyone and they need to make the playoffs that's a definite loss it's like a hundred percent loss right there but if they're playing third or four stringers then that's a win so but in my estimate I think everyone's gonna play so I'm gonna give it a down a lose so let's see what I have I have one two three four five six seven wins seven and nine on paper I think that's a winning season right there so give yourselves a round of applause San Francisco I think seven and nine is a great season because of last year I'm still stressful about that situation the whole Jim Harbaugh situation and Jim Tom Sula as the coach and Jeep Christ of all people man that was so awful to watch and hopefully Chip Kelly can do something about that number 32nd overall offense and hopefully the defense doesn't suffer because how fast-paced his offense is but offensively they can't go any worse than 30 
32nd in points scored. So I'm going to give a little optimism for this season, but overall, I'm going to give it a down just because offensively, I think they're going to be pretty bad in my opinion. I know they have Carlos Hyde, but other than that, with Bruce Miller getting released for that incident and the quarterback position is up in arms questionable because they didn't really have a good preseason performance. I'm just going to have to give it a loss just because offensively, they suck in my opinion. And defensively, I think they're going to do pretty good with Navarro Bowman and other players that I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think defensively, they showed a good showing in the preseason and hopefully they can build upon that and do well. So Chip Kelly, if you can go win more than five games, I'll be impressed. But if you win seven or more, I will kiss the screen or something like that. I'll, I'll do something special, hopefully, if you guys can win seven or more games. If you guys win the Super Bowl, man, I'm flying to San Francisco and going to celebrate, but I'm trying to stay optimistic. So hopefully you 49er fans can stay patient. This is not going to be a good season in my opinion, but hopefully if they can show a good showing for this season and build upon the next season and then the next season, then we'll see because, but this is a win now league. So people are going to be disappointed, but now I'm going to be disappointed as well. But I think if they show improvement from last year, then I think they're going to do some work and what have you. So that's pretty much it. I have them at seven to nine on paper, but in my opinion, they might go six and 10 or something like that. The best they could do is probably like nine and seven. The best they can do. The worst they could do is probably like two and 14 and have the number one overall pick, but hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't want number one overall picks because that would be awful in my opinion. I don't want this team to suffer more than it has to. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment on what you think the 49ers are going to do this season and subscribe somewhere around here. It's somewhere in the annotations for desktop computers and I'll catch you guys up later. So bye guys.